let's talk about fasting. Yes. And how that yeah. plays a role because obviously a lot of I you mean, I know that I have issues with eating and, and eating the wrong things. So and how what do you suggest in terms of how often we So we all have issues with eating, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, Speaking of eating. For whatever reason. Um, so it turns out that fasting is, a, is an incredible way to target your genome, basically. That if you really want to jumpstart your genome, that'd be a great name for a book. Jumpstart your genome. <laughs> well, I own that. I, can the you get to that? Come yeah, yeah, seriously. <laughs> Please don't take that. <laughs> oh, I want to get that. You're already starting that today, right? Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to start writing that this afternoon? Uh, jumpstart jump start your genome. Your genome. Oh, i got to get that. Anyhow, um, <laughs> it, and that is to fast. That'll, that rocks the casbah. Um, and uh, it turns out that you know our genome has been exposed to fasting for hundreds of thousands of years. You know, we are basically hunter-gatherers. Mm -hmm. And uh, at times, food wasn't abundant. And we had to, we're not, as I say, the fastest or the, or the strongest, but we're the most clever. So we had to develop an ability to get through the times of lean so that we could once again have calories. And when we fast, we turn on genes, we turn on survival genes that um, protect our cells, that increase our immunity, and most importantly, turn on the chemical that makes the brain work better called BDNF. So calorie restriction and fa fasting especially, uh, the idea that that is good for your health and good for your brain is that the science behind that is just brand new. It just was published only 3,500 years ago. So it's hot off the ground. <laughs> so you know, this comes from the Vedic text where they describe upavasa in Sanskrit, which means return to life. And doubtful now that they understood that this was an epigenetic event, but it does. It turns on the genes for survival and the cleverness genes, the smart genes. So, um, you know, our, our science now totally validates this.